episode of Co-Pilot Conversations with me, your host, Matilda Ottoman. This is the series where I will be joined by one guest in my passenger seat. I'll ask them a bunch of questions so you can get to know them a little better, and then we'll play a little game for your entertainment and probably mine too. I hope that sounds like a good time to you. Let's go pick up our guest. Hey, Swan. Hey. How are you? Oh, it smells amazing. How are you? I'm good. How have you been? I am good. I am so tired. Yeah, me too. I just, oh man, I'm tired too. Well, I imagine you would be tired. Very you tired. work very hard. Thank you. Um, I try not to say I'm tired, but I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> I think it's good to admit you're tired. It just means you work, you know, you you have good work ethic. Yeah, that's true. Though. It's been good. A lot's yeah. been going on since um, after I went to SFA. Okay. I left SFA when I went to California. That's when the shoes started to blow up. Oh, yeah. The rose bands. Thing yeah, going. I love them. Thank you. I hate them. I'm not going to lie. Really? Yeah, I mean, it's because it's tedious. It's cool to see that people... Um, like it and like yeah. understand what I was trying to do with those. You have a clothing company. I do. And you're how old are you? Are I'm you 19. 19. 19 yeah. That's crazy. 17. Thank you. That's I think that's so crazy when people like my age. I'm like 20 years old and I'm like broke as. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I can't even buy a new lens because I have no job, no money. It's I'm all like right. Struggling. But you have a and it's doing well. Yeah, it is. Actually, it is. It's crazy. It's um to see it's doing well. At first, I was kind of scared to really. Um, put it out there because mm -hmm. I didn't know if anyone was gonna mess with it, you know, right. but they did Dude, I'm trying to show everyone what this next show is on July 23rd I'm trying to show everybody like what really goes on behind Yeah, you know behind that's doors, I guess Behind closed doors, yeah, behind closed doors. So like today we're having the fittings at 12 and uh, mm -hmm. that'll be like the first film that we'll do Okay. So yeah, we'll at the end of the show at the end probably like a month after the show or not even a month Probably like a week after the show. I'll drop. I'll have like a documentary thing on YouTube Nice. That would be pretty cool. How did you originally come up with the idea? I've always been in, I mean, I guess I've always been into fashion. Mm -hmm. But when I moved to Houston, that's what I was, I used to play basketball all the time. And when, okay. I, went to, when I came to Houston, I kind of stopped. You needed something else? Like, yeah, I needed time. something else, yeah. Okay. And um, my grandmother passed away, and she's into clothes. She's very, and she put, she put me on a lot of things that I, like, that's cool now. Mm -hmm. And I never realized it till now. I was like, dang, she taught me a lot. She taught me how to sew. She taught me how to do these certain things, how to like market yourself and all that stuff. And when she passed away, then I was just like, hmm, I might as well like. Then I started working at Hollister. Then I was like, I might as well make my yes, own brand. I remember that. I, I used to work at Hollister. I remember with that. A whole bunch of other people that used to go to my school. We were in the same class, and I remember the day that you came in, and when we did good things, you said that you owned the rights to the name of your company. Yeah. I remember that day yep. very vividly. Really? It was Yeah. Enough, um, I thought that was so cool. I was like, that kid, he's going to do something big, yeah. and here you are. Making, <laughs> right? Making making moves. Up, making moves. It's only the beginning, too. That's yeah. crazy. I remember that. I did say that. Uh, I did get that patent for that name, Palicos. How do you come up with the ideas for your collection? How, That's, and yeah, like, how do you do that? How, people. People. My situation I'm in. Situa different situation I'm in. Um, usually women, really. A lot of women <laughs> <laughs> influence a lot of the clothes I make. Whether from like girls I talk to or try to talk to. Mostly I try to talk to. But. <laughs> <laughs> it's that is mostly people, though. You have a show, July 23rd. I do. And it's at Buffalo Soldier Museum. It's downtown. It's gonna be free to the public, oh. actually. So that's something new that we're doing. Yeah. It's we. Our last show was ten. Uh, like we made people pay ten dollars, but then I was like, we might as well make it a free public show. Mm -hmm. And just to see where everyone's head at is with our brand yeah. and with me. I thought it was crazy because that was the first show of yours that I've ever been to. Oh yeah, you went to the and second show. Yeah. yeah. There were so many people. It was so yeah, packed, was... and I was like, you know what? If I'm gonna be taking pictures, I might as well just sacrifice my seat. Yeah. Because I'm not. not <laughs> gonna, yeah. It was, yeah, it was point. unexpected. Like, and I it was, was like, that's crazy. I, it was so unexpected. It was a so blessing at the same people. time. I was I was really expecting like 50 people to come. I really mm -hmm. was. Because the first show, only like 30 people came. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I wasn't trying to get my hopes up or anything. I was like, okay, the people might come. And then like 170 people came. I'm just like, wow. I was like, wow. yeah, I was like, wow. So we're looking at those kind of numbers for, I don't, think, no, don't know. No, I think probably more. I mean, <laughs> I don't want to jinx myself or anything. Okay. But, um, but when we had, when the 170 people, so many people came, we only had like 300 followers. Okay. And that's before the shoes and all this stuff. Now we oh, have yeah. 2,000 followers and like, you know, we have a base now. Yeah. So now it's more like, whoa, that's we're prepared cool. for a lot more. So you also have a really diverse like group of models. I do. I and that's to. something that you, you do that. I do that. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's something I really do try to. Um, how do you, how do you find them? Just um, people I just, things. yeah, like I probably social media or people I just see around at the mall or when I'm walking around or people like approach me to and like, oh, look at this girl. I'm like, oh yeah, she's cute. Like I get that every day. 
people just says, oh, look at this, look at that. I'm like, yeah, but I mean, that's not the look I want right now. So I mean, maybe next time, you know? Yeah. And what I'm trying to do, very top secret right now, <laughs> not really top secret, but I'm trying to start this agency for models. Okay. It's in the works now. That's something that's coming up. That's another little project of mine. What I'm really just trying to do is just give opportunity to everybody. Giving opportunity to everybody is like something really big for me. You're still going to be doing this in five to ten years. Oh, yeah. For I, sure. Yeah, for sure. How big do you think I think I'll get? I think it'll be big enough. I really want, my main goal is to have my at, first atelier in Tokyo or Milan. And it's probably going to be in Tokyo, realistically. Mm -hmm. But probably in the ten years, I'll probably be in Milan. That's nice. what I really want to do. Goals, big, big goals. goals. You have to, if not. Yeah. Then what? I agree, I agree. When we went to high school, yeah. you made a little bit of music. I, I did. remember that. <laughs> I did. Because <laughs> I remember playing that song in my car and I remember being like, this is a jam. Yo. This is an absolute banger. <laughs> I did that on purpose, actually. I um, made music to get a fan base so I can drop the brand. Oh, mm -hmm. that is clever. Not, yeah, not all of people knew that, but I just did it. Cause that, cause that was like the trendy thing. Everybody wants to be a rapper, so I was like, let me yeah. hop on this train and get it, and it worked. So yeah, that's cool. Okay, yeah. I see you. <laughs> that was interesting because yeah, no, I love that song. Yeah, I I, I made song. I, I mean, I make songs sometimes. Like when I'm like I, SFA, I made a couple songs that had nothing to do. Okay. So we made song. It just never. We just never dropped them. I guess. Do you think you'll still continue? Uh, to, like make music. Maybe I would. I want to kind of like yeah. a little part of me, a little side of me wants to be a rapper. <laughs> nice. So you do a little bit of music. Anything else Anything that else? you would like to like pursue? Pursue. Um, that's so funny you asked that because somebody else asked me that the other day. They're like, what do you do outside of Palico? So I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't know how to answer that question. That's kind of confusing. <laughs> I don't know because I'm into it so much and I love it so much. It's kind of hard for me to go into something else, I guess. Fun fact. Okay. We're going to play a game. Awesome. <laughs> Game. Have you ever played catchphrase? No. We're gonna play catchphrase. Okay. So you know heads up? Yeah. So it's kinda like that. Oh okay, okay. But I think heads up is a little faster. So you have to make me guess. Oh I have to make you guess. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um White. <laughs> She's a <laughs> pop star singer. Um uh, she did a song with Snoop Dogg. Katy Perry. Yes. Next. Oh my turn? Yes. Okay. The Despacito. Justin Bieber? Yes. That's all I had to yeah. say. <laughs> it's not even his song. Oh, um, L G um, Me Dress. What? She wore Me Dress. She did the Super Bowl. Oh, she Lady Gaga. Yeah, yep. My queen. Um, she recently put all her music back on Spotify. Selena Gomez? No. She was like very anti like Spotify. Cause Kehlani? She, no, because she didn't like get paid for it. She's white. What kind of singer? Um, she used to be country, but she does pop Taylor now. Taylor Smith. Say this <laughs> Taylor Swift. <laughs> Taylor Smith. Oh. Okay. Oh, um, um, she was really popular when she, like, like, when she was a kid. I think she was on American Idol. Uh. White, blonde. Kelly Clarkson? No, 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 no. Crap. Dude, um, what song does she, what song does she do? Um, Womanizer. Oh, Britney Spears. Yes. yes. Am I allowed to say this song? Yeah. Okay. Um. She she's done a bunch of songs with Drake, and they kind of had. A oh, thing. Rihanna. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Was, so uh, easy. Oh, um, In Sync. In Sync. Oh, Justin yes, Timberlake. Yes, yes, yes. Um, soccer player, Real Madrid. I don't know if you'll know this at all. Uh, no. <laughs> um, uh, Neymar. No. Okay, yeah. Time. It's Cristiano Ronaldo. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Copilot Conversations. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and you can find um, Ezra Lewis or Palicos on Twitter and Instagram. Instagram both. Nice. This was pretty successful. So I will see you guys next time. Let me know who else you want me to put in my passenger seat and harass or interview, whatever, interrogate, whatever floats your boat. I will see you guys next time with a brand new video. Bye.